So what three stocks did I buy today? What's going on team? It's Ricky with Techno Solutions. I hope that you guys are all having an amazing day. One of the first things that I want to share with you is just because I buy into these stocks, do not make these the best stocks to buy right now. I need to say this because a lot of people like to copy my trade I, and I need you guys to understand this. I make so many mistakes all the time. But it's I think one of the things that I love about the stock market is that it's so challenging. So I really hope that throughout this video, I can simply talk to you about why I decided to buy these stocks, how much I decided to buy of them and what I plan to do with them. I hope that you can simply take the concepts that we talk about today and the next time that you're put in a similar position that if it makes sense to you about how I approach and how I average up into my positions, that maybe it's something that you can test out and get you one step closer to your overall goal before we even jump into that i need to make this super clear tesla reports earnings tomorrow and the reason that i'm saying this is because i know a lot of you like myself have been holding tesla some have been holding more tesla than originally planned and as you guys can see it's earnings season so on january 27th 2021 after market at 5 30 p.m central standard time tesla will report earnings of course we want tesla to go to the moon it tested 900 dollars a share yesterday and it's testing it today i hope that it only continues to go up but hope is a very closed-minded way to approach the market so all i want to remind you is now that you're aware of earnings being tomorrow after market do your part to set your future self up. If you want to hold strong, then all power to you. If you maybe want to sell some of your position just in case it pulls back that you have enough money you can buy more, then great. If you want to sell your entire position, then so be it. One of the friendly reminders is stop losses do not work after market hours. Now that you are aware of Tesla and a series of other stocks are reported earnings, now you can prepare versus being surprised. So that's my due diligence on this one, right? Uh, and we've been doing pretty good with Tesla. I'm probably only going to hold about 40 to 50 shares of Tesla overnight. But as of right now, I have quite a bit. I have about 160 shares. I'm up a little bit over $1,300 so far on the day. And I'm excited to follow up with it. So what three stocks did I buy? Ricky, just get to it. All right. The first stock, Verizon Wireless. Why did I buy Verizon Wireless? Ticker symbol VZ. VZ reported earnings today. It acted as a negative catalyst. It pulled right on back. We've talked about Verizon for the past two days. Because why? Based off of previous support levels, it consolidated around $57 and then began to indicate signs of an uptrend. What did we say yesterday? Watch out for earnings. We hope that it only pushes it up, but very often, especially more now than ever before, it does pull back. And this is exactly what happened. So I decided to buy 200 shares of VZ, which is a little bit over $10,000. I trade with a little bit over $100,000. So this is me just getting some skin in the game, right? This is like if you have a $1,000 account and you buy $100 worth of a stock. It's just enough that you have some skin in the game for a good deal if it continues to sell off and if it breaks its pattern, right? So if, uh, if Verizon falls below $56 and I see it, you know, no longer being relevant to the previous support level, then guess what? I can easily cut losses because from my average purchase price of $57 to $56, yeah, it sucks. It's 2%, but guess what? It's 2% of $10,000 instead of 2% of $100,000. Do you get what I mean? This is why it's so important to, yes, get stocks for a good deal, but also watch that position size because it's a lot easier to manage your risk. In comparison to the upside, based off of previous resistance levels at $61, you can see that the upside is nearly... 7%. And as you guys can see, these margins are not huge. They're not GME margins. They're not NIO margins. They're not the CCVI margins or anything like that. But it's a quality company. It reported earnings. It acted as a negative catalyst. It has more upside than it does downside, and it meets my criteria. So that's why I decided to go in light right now, and I will decide to buy more if it begins to indicate signs of an uptrend. I watched my position size. I saw the opportunity based off of earnings, and I have my alerts now set up so I can follow up with it when it makes sense. So that's why I decided to buy ticker symbol VZ. The next one that I want to talk about is AA. 
So with AA, as of right now, I do have 1,100 shares. I'm not going to hold 1,100 shares. One of the things that I'm doing is because it's of how it's trading right now, I'm going to most likely hold about 500 to 600 shares overnight, but I'm day trading with about five to 600 of them as of right now. And why would I do that? Well, because of the way that it's trading on the one day, one minute chart, you can see every time that it makes new lows, it tries to push up. And with that, if it gets closer to that $19 price point, I'll load off on some of my shares, therefore allowing me to take advantage and scalp AA while still having my original 500 shares of AA as of right now. And if you guys look on the 180 day chart, what happened with this? Well, it reported earnings, it acted as a negative catalyst. It just recently hit 180 day highs at $26. And from where we're at as of right now, let's not even talk about where it's at right now. If you do your part, you know, I'm buying in a little bit early, but I'm buying in very lightly, right? With my overall account size. If you wait for proper confirmation, right? We wait for confirmation. We wait for that opportunity to present itself. So don't do what I'm doing, buying in before confirmation. But from $20 a share, if it were to make a reversal, right, and, and make a recovery, that's nearly 30% of what it offers based off of potential ROI in comparison to the current downside as of right now, which again, it's still great. We, we still don't know if AA is going to actually pick right back up, which is why I'm watching my position size and which is why... I, again, I'm taking that into consideration before I go all in. So I just simply wanted to talk about it. I feel like the upside outweighs the downside. But again, there's three stages to reversal. And if you're under the PDT rule, if you want to be more selective with your entry points, then do not be afraid to simply set alerts and follow up with it when it makes sense. And the last one that I want to talk about is Lemonade. So Lemonade did not report earnings. It's not about that but it aggressively sold off and pulled back today, right? So for the past two days, it's been pulling back. This is something that's been previously bullish. And again, like we've said so many times before, it is so much easier. It's still not easy, but it's so much easier to make money in the market when the overall big picture direction is in your favor. Can we all agree on that? So it's not that this thing is a perfect trade. It's not that this thing has to make a recovery. It just has a pattern and a history of making higher highs and higher lows. So when it pulled on back, I missed the original dip, but it pushed on, pulled right on back, and I decided to buy 40 shares. 40 shares is not a heavy position size. I'm already up on my position, and I will only decide to buy more if it actually begins to indicate signs of an uptrend. I'm not trying to approach this in a super aggressive way. I'm not trying to make it or break it because I know that this thing can continue to sell off. So it's not thinking that you have it all figured out or that it only has to go up. It's feeling both effective and efficient with your position size. And if you've never tried this, I would encourage you to take into consideration instead of going all in on buying the dip on certain stocks because you're trying to maximize your return, understand that that approach is approaching it in a much more aggressive way. And more often than not, you will end up buying the dip and it will continue to sell off. And because you buy in so aggressive, it's going to be very difficult for you to be able to tolerate that loss. So those are the three stocks that I bought today. And it looks like Tesla as of right now is pushing up. I just sold 20 of my shares or 30 of my shares. So I'm up $1,700 on the day. So grateful for the opportunity that today has presented Overall, I have made a couple mistakes today on some positions being heavier than others. I'm up a little bit over 1700, but I'm super, super excited to follow up not only with Tesla earnings, but all these other stocks that plan to report earnings for the days that follow. And because I'm not fully invested in those stocks, if they do sell off for all of us, right? For all of us that are not invested in those stocks, if you follow up with stocks that are reporting earnings and they act and they drop due to that negative catalyst, then guess what? You are now presented with an opportunity in which that you can simply add to your watch list, set your alerts and follow up with it when it makes sense to you. That's the beautiful part about the stock market is that you don't have to trade what everyone else is trading. Just like me, I talked about three stocks today. Out of those three, how many of those met your criteria? One, two, maybe none of them. It doesn't matter, right? It is your job to take advantage of opportunities that only make sense to you because either you will make a profit or you will learn from your mistakes if you understand what it is that you are doing. So I'm super excited to follow up. If you learned something new in this video, or if you like any of those three stocks that I talked about, please comment down below. And I hope that it earned your thumbs up. 
Don't forget to stay connected. We do run the largest free Facebook group in the world. We're almost at 300,000 members. It's absolutely for free. And it's the first link down below. If you guys wanna watch me trade live as soon as tomorrow, click the second link down below and I will see you tomorrow at Market Open for our live trading session. Until then, don't forget to subscribe and like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy team.